I'm starting this one series, porn from the 70s that I grew up looking at, my uh, father's pornography collection. Probably affected me greatly as a child. <laughs> I kept that pornography and I, I kind of thumb through it sometimes and I find images that um, are meaningful to me. They kind of recall my childhood and I usually use those to paint from. That pornography is pretty interesting because it's shot with that soft filtered effect. What I've started doing is mixing those images with patterns or toile de joie or something like that. I don't know exactly how to say it, but it's um, an early printed fabric from France. To me, that represents um, this sort of decadent, aristocratic style. The two parts of the painting together talk about the decadence of pop culture and the decadence of sex in our culture. People buy the dolls. We have doctors, lawyers, art collectors. My name is David Brown. I'm a writer, I'm an author, and I'm a very happy and very proud real doll owner. I'm starting this one series about the strip bars in San Diego. Because I think it'd be pretty funny. You, you see people painting out in Balboa Park and <laughs> like that's acceptable and everything, but a canvas set up out on like Midway Drive would be pretty annoying to a lot of people, but I think it would it would make the work, um, it would the anxiety that that I feel that the strip bars represent would come across in the, the painting. Part of me wants to be able to make just really pretty images that don't have any darkness in them, just to see if I can do it. <laughs> because it's a really hard exercise for me. Um, normally, the paintings are much more aggressive and, um, and have this, this hard part of them. It's a challenge for me to just to paint an image that doesn't have anything sort of twisted in it. Eventually, I started showing those the porn paintings in shows, and my family had to sort of deal with it. Then I started feeling this real pressure to, uh, to also make really pretty images. So I kind of started to make both. 